Welcome back to the NBC Sports Studio here at beautiful Levi's Stadium. Our first SunPower Electric game tonight is a matchup between two top teams in the area. The Franklin Wildcats out of Elk Grove are very talented and come into the week with a 5-1 record with wins over tough opponents. Jesuit comes into the week 1-4, but don't let that record deceive you. The Marauders have played a stacked schedule so far, and it only continues with this matchup with Franklin. It's Franklin and Jesuit in our first SunPower Electric game tonight. Our where Parker Ream was there. Electric game. Parker Ream on hand at Jesuit High School for an epic matchup on the baseball field between Jesuit and Franklin of Elk Grove. We start on the Franklin side. Yikes. Uh, Mississippi State commit. Nolan Stevens continues to impress. He's batting 400 with seven RBIs this season. In addition to that, sophomore Jordy Lopez is turning heads with a .44 ERA and a 500 batting average. Look for those two to play a factor today. As for the home team, they played a rough schedule so far, but with a bright spot last week from a four hit and three RBI performance against St. Mary's from Mikey Granrud and a tough 10 to 8 loss against Valley Christian. Jesuit looks to carry that momentum into this week and get back on track today. You guys know the drill. It's Jesuit taking on Franklin in this week's Sun Power Electric game. So let's get right into this Sun Power Electric game. First inning runners on first and second we go with Stevens at the dish and the double steal is on. Andrew Sloan fires it to second but the ball gets away and Asani Johnson takes advantage. He's going home. The play at the plate and he is safe. one nothing Franklin. Derek Pham up next batting cleanup and he delivers. He hits it up the middle for the base hit to bring around Jordy and it's 2 nothing after one. We go to the second inning now. Nolan up to bat again. He gets some contact on that one. Ripping it down the right field line. That's a fair ball. That brings in Hassani and Jordy. We got ourselves a 4 nothing ball game after two as he walks into third. The top of the order continued to do damage in this one. Johnson at the plate in the top of the third and a base knock allows Zach McGarger to safely scoot in for another run. 5 nothing. I'm sure you guys get a theme here. Johnson again up to bat. Hits a dribbler to Nick Alkier, but can't make the play in time as two runs come around to score, and it's a 7-0 ball game. Tyler Vargas came in relief, and check out this play. The ball gets away from Sloan, but he slides to get it back, and the play at the plate right here from Vargas gets Nolan out at home plate. Great awareness between pitcher and catcher, but Franklin would answer with some defense of their own. Nick Abraham dives. It's just out of his reach, but no worries. Hassani is there to throw on to Nolan. Just pitchers making plays on Tuesday, but the Wildcats were too strong on both sides, specifically their bats in the sixth, up nine to nothing. Jordy with the screamer up the middle. Johnson scores his fifth run of the game. He got a base all five times on Tuesday as Franklin gets a 10 nothing win by run rule. Coaches helped us out um, and we were ready to we were ready to compete. During practice, we work every day for the team we're playing next. So, uh, you know, like I said, we work really hard and I feel like once we get on the field and we're playing that team, we're ready to play them. And that's your Sun Power Electric game. I'm Parker Reem, 49ers Sack High Sports.